On our interview segment are an environmental activist, Demo Basi, who also happens to be the founder of Health of Mother Foundation, takes us through agroecology, what it is all about, and as well, what the countries that are participating in COP26 stand to gain and what the negotiations should be. Would it have a positive outcome or not? Let's hear him. All right, thanks for joining us. You're on to Environment Today on AIT. It's a pleasure meeting you again, sir. Thank you so much. All right, first, let's begin by getting your reaction to the recent pronouncement by the government that it has approved the introduction of genetically modified maize called Taylor maize into the country. Um, as an environmental activist and as a full sovereignty person, um, what do you think or what was your initial reaction to that announcement? Well, the announcement was very shocking to me, not shocking uh, mostly because uh, it didn't, I don't think, the, from what I read, it was uh, some groups who are promoting genetically modified organisms in the country who made the announcement, not necessarily government itself, but they always hide behind the cloak of government because government allows almost anything to be done in its name. Uh, my concern is that that variety of maize, so-called uh, drought-tolerant maize, is, uh, is the same variety that after hundreds of millions of dollars have been invested in research, failed to gain approval in the U.S., failed to gain approval in South Africa, and has been pushed around many countries, and now Nigeria has become a dumping ground where any kind of failed technology is rapidly embraced and approved. And sad, most shocking, is when those who ought to know will announce to the public that they've not found anything to worry about GM, any GMO variety. That is a fat, a big fat lie. Because the, 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 essence, the essence of having the risk assessment in GMOs and the essence of having precautionary principle with regard to this kind of varieties of crops is that there are risks involved in all of them. And you can only tell us that where we can handle the risks. To say there's no risk is not true. Here, uh, Homef has told the media that agroecology is the way to go and it has a way of fighting climate change. Could you clarify this even as we go to the Right. So agroecology is a system of plant uh, cropping that is totally in sync with nature. I mean, it works with nature, doesn't depend on artificial inputs like artificial chemical fertilizers or pesticides and herbicides. So the crops are being grown in a way that supports biodiversity. In other words, in an agroecology farm, you, would, you could have corn, same time you have melon, you have okra, other crops are growing. Uh, and so when, when the soil is not attacked by chemicals, almost everything that nature gives us thrives there and the soil is healthy. Healthy soil is a very good carbon sink. So when the soil is natural with millions of organisms, uh, with things growing on it, in it and the soil is just uh, uh, plainly speaking healthy, it cools the planet by absorbing more carbon. The soil is a good carbon sink and everybody knows this. All right, let's go to COP26 proper now. Um, what are the expectations from COP26 considering the agreements that were reached in the pa in Paris Agreement and uh, the nationally determined contribution of different countries that participated? What exactly should Nigeria be expecting from this COP? Uh, let me first say that um, we don't expect much uh, ground-shaking outcome from, uh, from COP. 26 taking place in Glasgow. Uh, the signals are, are not anything to be to be happy about. The, the, the basis the basis of action in the Paris Agreement that was, that was agreed at COP 21, right? Uh, the basic agreement then was to ensure that countries make take actions that would avert the global temperature from increasing beyond 1.5 or well below 2 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels. Now, when countries are allowed to voluntarily say what they're going to cut, emissions they're going to cut, it gives politicians the leeway not to do anything at all or just make pronouncements. That's why we're hearing a lot about net zero, uh, carbon neutrality. Are you going to hear this over and over at COP26? But this means nothing. It, it means 
It doesn't mean changing the way things are being done. It doesn't mean cutting emissions. It just means that you're showing that you are still emitting the same thing you're emitting or even more, but you are doing something else to mitigate or counteract the emissions that you are, you are releasing, which is very sad for, for the global uh, climate. 